tell us what you think about what you've seen over the last 24 hours. We know it's J.D. Vance. We know that uh, Donald Trump has suggested that he's going to change the mood. And then we have this bombshell of the documents. Yes, indeed. A uh, Florida judge, Aileen Cannon, uh, who uh, needs to be known is a Trump appointee, appointed while he was president, sensationally threw out uh, one of the criminal cases against him earlier today, our time. This was the case that involved the former president being accused of retaining classified sensitive documents at his Mar-a-Lago mansion in Florida. Uh, but also, I mean, the more serious charge was obstructing federal authorities trying to retrieve those cases it was uh, those documents it was widely seen as the strongest case out of uh, all of the handful of cases against Donald Trump but that judge has decided today that the prosecutor special counsel Jack Smith who was also running the federal case here based in Washington DC alleging Donald Trump tried to overturn the results of the last election Eileen Cannon ruling that Jack Smith was unlawfully appointed and therefore had no uh, legality behind his prosecution of Donald Trump so that case is out and uh, widely celebrated by Donald Trump. Uh, just at the start of the day, he, he did a round of interviews where he talked about how grateful uh, he felt uh, about his life being saved on Saturday, how he'd had a big think about it over the weekend, how he now wanted to be a unifier in chief. There was too much division in America. People are too divided, he told a couple of newspaper reporters and uh, a TV station. Well, that new mood lasted about two hours until this uh, judge came out and tossed out the case. Then it was one of Donald Trump's uh, signature truth social posts where he uh, talked about election interference by the Joe Biden Justice Department, uh, talked about the witch hunts against him and urged authorities to throw out all of the other cases against him. Uh, but wh whichever way you look at it, especially going into day one of the Republican National Convention, a major, major legal win for the former president.